Hey guys, and thanks for tuning into the Blobscast. I'm Sean Quixote. And I'm Tube Socks. And get ready for the weekly intel. Alright, on the forums, we've got 60 mags of death saying, Frag vs Semtex. I like that you can bank a frag, and you can get lucky sometimes with the rolls, but I always seem to get more kills with the Semtex. I don't know, blast radius is huge? What do you think about this? Well, I am a huge proponent of frags, as you know. Um, I believe a wise man once said, "Real men use frags." Is I, that? I believe, I believe you quoted him correctly, man. I believe that uh, that wise man was you, wasn't it? I believe you're also correct in saying that. <laughs> I think we believe a lot. All right. Do yeah. you concur, sir? <laughs> I do concur. Anyway, back on track. We are already getting off track, Sean. Let's stay on for this one, please. All right. Talking about frags, I do like them a lot, and I will tell you why. The thing I don't like about Semtex is their main goal. I hate that they stick to things. When there's a sniper in a tower, maybe that's useful, but in any other situation, I mainly use frags for people that are camping in spots, or up on balconies, in towers, anything like that. So when I use a grenade, I don't want to be in their line of sight so they can easily shoot me. So frags are really useful because I can get out of their line of sight and bank it off things like the doorway or a window or something like that or even my player. So um, that's really useful for me and then they also don't expect it if they can't see you throwing it. Whereas some techs, if you are at an awkward angle with them and there's a door and a wall in the way, you're going to throw it and it's going to stick on the far wall. And let's be honest, they're probably corner humping in the bottom left corner and they're going to be far away from lethal range and you're just gonna get one of those annoying hit markers they're gonna go prone ADS at the door and once you walk in you're gonna get a real nice surprise with silencer I know I've uh, stuck a semtex to a wall inadvertently and killed myself with it <laughs> yeah yep I've done that too that's another nice thing about frags is if you are tossing them up and you may hit let's say one of your teammates who just happens to be jumping in front of you at that time, <laughs> or you hit a wall if you're not very good, um, you have plenty of time to get away. But once a Semtex sticks, it has about a one second fuse, so if you're using that, you better be damn good at throwing them, because they can be a trouble. And I think that's one of the reasons this guy says he does so much better with uh, Semtex grenades, is because of the shorter fuse. Like, he probably doesn't cook frags adequately, and I really do think frags have a wider blast range. so. I mean, once you cook a frag for a couple seconds, like, it's got a five-second fuse, you cook it for three, it's the same fuse as a Semtex. Like, granted, you burn three seconds, but, you know, no big deal. Exactly, and the cooking can prove extremely useful. If you want your frag to roll, then by all means, don't cook it and chuck that potato up and just pray. But, um, if there's a sniper in a tower right above you, you can't stick that frag, so what are you going to do? You're going to cook it for three and a half seconds? By the time it gets to its apex, it's going to explode without even hitting anything. And thus, you're going to kill that dude. So, um, yeah, they're extremely versatile and dynamic, and that's why I like them as opposed to Semtex. Alright, we got an email here. You want to read this one? Um, not really. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Alright. We got an email from Bradley saying, Hey, Blobscast, I'm interested in taking my game to the whole next level. A whole nother level! And I was wondering if you guys knew anything about what types of games the MLG players play, and if you had any info on game battles. Now I know you has, have quite a bit of experience with game battles, and I know when you and your team went into it, even though you were all great players, you guys, you, you hit a couple speed bumps, let's be honest. Those speed bumps you're referring to, Sean, are more like four-foot curbs. They are, game battles are extremely different than playing standard public matches. When you jump into a game battle, and you, if you're trying to play it like a public match, you are going to get rolled over, picked up, rolled over again, beat while you're on the ground, and you're going to wake up in a hospital not remembering who you are or where you're from. Let me tell you right now, we went in with all the skill in the world. We're great players, we have great kill deaths, we have immaculate win-loss ratios. We went in there, and... We woke up in a hospital somewhere in Oakland thinking we're in a gym. <laughs> thinking we're named. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. But yeah. anyway, we thought our name was Jim. And that's why I want to convey you. But anyway. So, if any of our listeners are interested in doing game battles, what, what one piece of advice above all else would you give them? Ghost. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, one piece of advice is jump in there. I mean,. You're not going to get game battle experience unless you play game battles. And to be honest, it's 
Game battles are more tactical based, obviously. You want your team to play the best. There are so many aspects of the game that are overlooked in public matches. But with game battles, you have to be on all the time. And you have to know exactly where everyone is. So the one main thing that I want to tell you is use callouts. Me, for example, I want to give you uh, an example of what my old callout would be. Alright, so I'd be running. I'd run into a room, there would be some ghost guy in the corner with a silencer. I'd get shot, and this is what I would do. I'd be like, oh you mother why don't you go slit your wrists and die? You're a worthless piece of f***ing shit. Now, my friend warned me that that would not fare too well in a game battle, and he was absolutely correct. With game battles, you're gonna want to let your team know exactly where the dude is. If you get shot by a sniper in a tower, you're gonna want to yell, Hey, we got a sniper in mid tower. Take him out. So, by giving these little directions that are key and relative to the map that you're on, you're gonna be able to let your team know where they are and you're gonna be able to win the match that much more effectively. Especially if you're playing a variant like Search and Destroy where you only have the one life. Like, we're, we're just assuming you guys are in party chat, let's be honest. It's kinda cheating, but whatever. With game battles, you can be in party chat for Search, so. Um, so anyway, yeah, where you only have one life, like, you have to call out where you got killed from if you get killed, or even if you just see somebody and aren't able to nip them. Like, the callouts are extremely vital, and one thing we need to point out is that it's not, like, the difference between a correct callout and an inadequate callout, because I know many times I've heard, hey, hey, the, hey, there's a, there's a guy in, in the building. In the corner. The yeah, he's the, camping in the corner. The one at the window? Yeah, the window. Really? Yeah, he's next to the window. And the roof? That building. That one. Uh -huh. Got it. No, that's not what's gonna happen. You're gonna be like, dude, what what building are you talking about? And then, while you're trying to just s suck this information out of your teammate, you're gonna get shot in the head by a silent spaz dude behind you. Yep. So, um, what you wanna do is work on getting the callouts to be map specific. So, if you're on grid, say, hey, there's a guy on the catwalk. The catwalk. Yeah. The catwalk? I know where the catwalk is. There's a guy there! Yeah. <laughs> and then you can do your little turn on the catwalk. The catwalk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's the main piece of information I can give about game battles, but definitely just give them a try, get some experience, and victory will sure follow if you have some skill. And that's how you reach the next level. The whole never level. Alright, looks like we've got one last email here. You want to tackle this? Um, nope, not at all. Looks like we are out of time. In that case, thanks for watching the Blobscast. I've been Sean Quixote. I've been Tube Sacks. Don't forget to tell your friends about us. Like and comment on the video. We really do appreciate your input. Also, don't forget to find us on Xbox Live. He's Tube Sacks. I'm Sean Quixote. Pretty much how it sounds. Follow us on Twitter, at Blobscast. And also find us on Facebook. Just search The Blobscast. And don't forget to subscribe. Love's cast. Subscribe.